Could this hotel possibly be the best bang for your buck here at Universal Orlando Resort? Stick around and find out. to another video guys and as always thank you for tuning in today if you can't tell already we are at universal orlando's cabana bay beach resort and we're going to be taking you guys on a tour of the property it's a huge property right across the street from aventura and sapphire falls which is over here unfortunately they are closed at the moment so we're not going to be doing a review of them at least not today but we're going to be doing a review of this particular resort a lot of people say it's the best bang for your buck and you know if you're on the fence of where you should stay hopefully this video could help you out let's start off by getting in the lobby and then we'll talk a little bit about the room that we got today here we are we're entering the lobby and just like they've had at the other hotels for the time being you got to get these wristbands and get your temperature check so i won't need to get my temperature check but they do have the temperature check station here now when you enter the lobby, you got this beautiful center centerpiece right here. And then to the right, once you pass the temperature check, is where you have your check-in and your luggage and baggage assistance. If you head on over to the left side, you got a universal gift shop, which is where I got the hat that I'm wearing today. And then what looks like to be a bar that is currently not open. Now because my room is actually pretty far away and the this pool at least is very conveniently located let's go ahead and check this pool out first all right perfect so we got a map let's do a quick tour of the map this map is huge and it says you are here which is right here okay and my room is actually a volcano bay view which is very nice but as you can see is a good distance away from the lobby and it's something that by the end of this video i'll give you my honest opinion on whether or not it's worth it um, to have this distance because i believe somewhere around here um, the buses pick you up to go to the park so you know you don't have to walk all the way back to the actual physical entrance to go to the parks but if you're looking at taking the walking path which is over here you're literally on the opposite end of the of the resort it's kind of cool how they have this broken down they actually have like a inner portion of the lobby with little markings telling you what every different location is i know they got starbucks bay liners um, if you're hungry and then they have the galaxy bowl which we'll pass by shortly uh, but one thing to note is this pool or this resort does have two pools you got this pool right here which is the main one when you first come in and then you have another pool that's closer to the Volcano Bay view towers. And this one has a lazy river. Now we are here and it looks like the hotel Monday through Thursday, or the, the pool Monday through Thursday, it's the atomic pool, is closed. On Friday it opens at 1 p.m. So we're actually a little bit too early. It's early in the morning. I got up to get some content, but here's a quick view of the area these are the exterior rooms they do have interior rooms as well um, the exterior rooms i've actually stayed i stayed at a family suite right over there which was a great bang for your buck the, sam the family suites here are ridiculous you get uh, two queen size beds and a pull out couch in the living room which actually has a partition so it's like two rooms almost and then you have your little kitchenette but yeah these are the exterior rooms and we're gonna go on back and check out the Cosmic Bowling, pass by Bayliners, and then go through the interior rooms on our way to today's uh, room review. All right, so we are making our way towards the room. Like I said, it is a bit of a hike, but to give you a point of reference, behind us you have the lobby area that we just toured, the pool is that way, and right next to here, we have the Universal Gift Shop. We're coming up past Starbucks, I'll show you that in just a second, as well as Bayliners, which is where you would go eat if you're staying here at the resort so here past the gift shop you have your starbucks so if you're a coffee addict like myself and need your shots 
your espresso shots, here's where you would come. And then you got over here, Bay Liners. So Bay Liners is the location that you could go for some food. They got different like booths set up um, or stations, I guess you could say. You got pizza over here, over behind this wall right here, you have burgers. You also have some self-help stuff, some quick snack stations on this side and over there. And then you check out over here. Uh, but some good food if you're looking at getting some food while you're here at the resort. Once you exit and you've paid for your meal here, which by the way, they do take your annual pass. So if you're looking at getting a little bit of a discount and extending the value of your annual pass, you could do that here and on all the resorts. Um, here's where you would come and sit down behind this wall right here. Currently, they aren't letting you get your own condiments. They actually have a station for the condiments, but that's where you would get your condiments while you're here sitting down to eat. Now we are actually making our way back because I believe taking these steps right here, you can get to the Galaxy Bowl. And I was right, coming from the stairs right in front of Starbucks, you got the Galaxy Bowl, which is a cool little additional benefit here at Cabana Bay Beach Resort that you don't find in many hotels. And that is some bowling lanes. You got your shoe rental on the left-hand side. You got balls you could pick from over here. And then you got some lanes if you're looking to have some family fun while you're here at the resort you could do so in a pretty cool way now right outside the door they're not open right now they'll be open later today they do have a mardi gras menu a few cool items themed to the mardi gras event that's currently going on at universal studios now over to the left of the galaxy bowl you have the game Orama, which is actually a really cool and substantial uh, arcade here at Cabana Bay. As you can see through the window, it's closed right now, so we can't go inside, but it's pretty big. And from a family perspective, if you have kids, I think Cabana Bay, this is two of the things, the bowling and the arcade that make it one of the more well-rounded resorts for family stays. Now, once you enter the hotel, if you're actually staying at one of these rooms, they will tell you to uh, there's two towers, so you're either going to be on the continental side or I forgot what the other side was. They'll tell you to actually walk through this area to get to your room. It's the interior walkway. But I actually found that following the second pool and going this way is actually a much quicker, much more direct route. And just before we exit, I mean, look at the distance. You can see Volcano Bay, the volcano itself, Krakatau. But right over here, you have some of the goodies that are offered here at Cabana Bay Beach Resort. So a lot to be offered, a lot to do. Huge resort. And then of course, due to social distancing, you have these QR codes where you could actually just look at the menus. Now we arrived last night. So I've actually already stayed in the room, checked it out, seen the hotel. When we first arrived, it was the first time that I've actually stayed at one of these um, Volcano Bay view rooms. And the, the route that they told me to go through, which was the interior route that I told you about, actually made it so, I was thinking it wasn't very worth it. It was a pretty long route and I had to go back and forth a few times to get like toothpaste and things like that um, and just get my bags to the room. But once I discovered this little walking path that actually follows the pool here, it's a much more direct, much nicer route. Through the interior route, you, you go through some buildings. So you actually go through a building, out of building, go into a building, go through it, out of building, a few times before you make it to the Volcano Bay View Towers. So a little bit of, of a pro tip, I am now definitely favoring these rooms a little bit more and think the, the value is definitely there now that I've found this walkway. And then as a little bit po point of reference, over there is the lobby that we came through next to Bay Liners. And over here is the second pool. And I'm not sure if you could see it, but out there in the distance over here are the Lazy Rivers. And here we are at the beachside tower. There are two towers as far as the Volcano Bay view rooms. And this is one of them, which is where we're staying. And we opted for a top floor. So we got the 11th floor, which I think is, if you're looking for the best view, hopefully it's gonna be the least obstructed floor for any hotel, I would assume the top floor. We're out of the elevator. One thing I could say is the theming of these rooms is truly retro and cool. You got these cool patterns on the rugs, as well as these like, I guess, lampshades or light shades that you could say. And then 
over here, right off the elevator, we got our room. And I have the key on my neck. Oh, it's not working, hold on. And here we go. Boom. Per use, we got on over to the left, we got a safe, some hangers, um, some extra space to store your bags. Um, I believe that is for resting your bag so you don't have to sit on the floor. You got your uh, iron and ironing board back there. On the left hand side, you have me come with every hotel. And then, as you can see, we've actually been here for a night, but for the most part, I, I tried to keep everything as neat as possible for today's review so you guys could see it. And then we also have the bathroom, which surprisingly, I gotta say, uh, lights, there we go, is a pretty nice bathtub. It's actually nicer than some of the ones that I've stayed at before. I, I'm a guy and I'm not gonna take a bath. So this is a shower, I said bathtub. I like it when it doesn't have the tub and the, the shower head. I like like a straight up shower. So I, I like this a lot. And as you can see, space wise, it's actually pretty good. I'm six foot two, so I appreciate space. And then we make our way into the room. Um, my little mess over here with all my camera gear and got my editing station already set up over there and the two beds. I stayed obviously on that bed so I could have the view, which we'll get to in a moment. I, I blocked for a reason, save that for the end. Uh, but I gotta say for the most part, the room itself is actually very nicely themed, very nicely painted, kept well, the rugs are nice. The TV is a pretty decent size. And then I guess if you wanted to, you could actually get access to an adjoining room. Now, one thing I can say, like I said, I'm a, a larger gentleman. So size, I appreciate space. I appreciate. And this room is very spacious. And it was only, I think, I think honestly, it was from the standard room with like a pool view. This was maybe like 30 bucks more a night maybe 20 bucks more a night. So it wasn't that crazy. If you're looking to get a pretty cool view of uh, Volcano Bay, then I think this is worth it. Now, the convenience of how far you actually are from the lobby, that's something that you may have to consider yourself. That's gonna be a personal pet peeve. Um, I will say the first day it really did bother me, but then once I got to the room, that kind of subsided when I got that nighttime view of Volcano Bay, which I'm gonna show you a daytime view now. Um, and then once I found that walking path that kind of cut out walking through all those buildings, I gotta say, I really do appreciate this room now. And I'll show you the main reason why I appreciate this room. Ha, huh, look at that. Right out the window. So bed, view. And this is the view you guys wanted to see, the slide getting worked on. Actually, I'm pretty interested at the fact that there's somebody there working on a slide. It looks like he's caulking all the seams. Interesting. I know Volcano Bay is currently closed. It will be opening on February 27th, which is just a few days away from here. And it looks like they're working on the exterior as well. Um, obviously, I'm just I'm messing with you guys. This is not the view you guys want to see. The view you want to see is over here. Bam. Krakatoa. Up close and personal. So right behind me, <laughs> when you're resting right here in the nighttime, this is nice and lit up. A beautiful view of the volcano and the theme park in general. I, I have like a full view of it. Now these pillars or beams here do obstruct from window to window, but we have several windows. Ugh, sorry if I'm being shaky. I'm trying to open all the windows and just to pull back and give you a good view of what we have. It's three floor to ceiling windows and very large windows at that. Each one has to be at least like four or five feet wide. All right, you guys, that is all from us here at the Cabana Bay Beach Resort at Universal Orlando Resort. Hopefully this video is helpful, helps you decide whether or not you wanna stay at the Cabana Bay Beach Resort. I will say, I think um, with this view, there's a good bang for its buck, but the hotel in general with all the space that it has, um, the pricing, the pricing is a, a big seller. It's not the most expensive and it's still very conveniently located to the parks. You have a shuttle service and a walking path. And then when Sapphire Falls opens up, you could actually take their water taxi, just cross the street, take their water taxi. So, uh, this, this, uh, hotel has a lot of value. Um, that being said, I hope you liked this video. We also did a review of the Hard Rock Hotel, which is kind of the 
opposite price range of Cabana Bay. So if you're looking at a more premium hotel with some additional um, perks, go ahead and check that out. I'll link it in the description below. Hope you liked this video. Once again, I hope it helped you make your decision for your next vacation. Make sure to smash that like button. It really does help push this video out on the YouTube algorithm. Also, we are on a mission to get past 1,000 subscribers. So every subscription does help and we greatly appreciate it. All that being said, we'll see you on the next video, but don't forget to ask yourself, have you been entertained?